Hi guys, I woke up, it's Sunday, now the other video is already a success, I invited to the king and such, <laughs> anyway, so I ordered the big board, As I, so this is a little recap from the previous video, and uh, we soldered up this board, and you may have noticed in the video something was wrong when I tested all the connections, little easter egg, sort of. <laughs> And uh, what I was thinking now when I woke, woke up was that uh, when I'm going to replace these two shitty boards with one large good board, uh, I will have the driver behind here, but do I really need it? I need it, but do I really need it on a board? Why can I just put this away and uh, disconnect this... Uh, strip and if I disconnect the strip I do have some space here so because what you need on a uh, driver board hold on this is a circuit and uh, I've drawn one of the relays here but there are actually six down all of them are connected to 5 volt as a common point so what you need to drive them uh, for the relay driver is to pull them down to ground then you create path to ground. So the way I'm doing it is to run the current through a transistor because then I can use a smaller current to drive the larger current. And I decided to use bipolar transistors because then I can pull them up with a resistor, a single resistor, while a uh, NMOS you need to discharge this uh, otherwise floating gate <laughs> Uh, so then you would need six uh, resistors. We talked about that in another video. So the way this uh, demultiplexer works, actually it's an analog MUX. So it is bi-directional, so you can use it as a MUX or a DMUX. So, so when the present state, or the, as I said in the earlier videos, I called it current state. Anyway, present state is pointing at one of the outputs. So let's say it says zero, zero, zero. Then it's pointing at this one, which is Q zero, actually. And then there will go current through this one and nothing through the other ones. So, and turns on this transistor, and this transistor will then uh, provide the path for the current to go to ground there. And we connect. You have this connected, so it turns out that relay. That's it. So what do we have? We have six transistors. We have uh, one resistor and then the CD4051, and that's it. And some links, though. Should be able to fit all of that. Solder up all the circuits. You have uh, try to make it as tidy as possible. So you can see the BC337 are ganging up on us. Six of them. So, so if I turn on power now. 174 milliamps. Now remember, none of the inputs are connected, so that means they are flapping in the breeze, as Dave says. 
So look what happens now if I connect this to nothing. It's like this is like the most significant bit. Check this out. <laughs> it base behaves rather peculiar. Hmm? So we can't leave inputs disconnected. I've hooked up the circuit and it behaves like a June bug. <laughs> so, but it's detecting audio. So come over there. I'm gonna hook up three wires. Or I think it'll cut off power first. So, so here we got the three ones coming from there. They are going into this one, which is the present state. There you go. You can see it down there. V, uh, what is it called? VCE saturated. That's uh, how long this uh, transistor can drive. It's to zero. So if that's a bad thing, then you can't use it. So, but it's okay for this task. Let's see. So there, finished up the layout for the yeah the control board I called it. So that's the board that goes over there. I did it the other day, now it's Saturday. So there are a couple of wires that I haven't routed because now I've filled up the board with uh, links and uh, routing. So this is the signal latched, so come from the LM39 latch over to here. And then you have the present state which controls all the relays. It comes from the present state register. So here you have the counter, and that value goes in here, this first register, which goes next state, and that goes into the second register, which is called present state. You can see they are flipped. And then out of that again, uh, we can route it out on the connector, but it also goes up to the comparator on several places there. I can show you I'm very happy about this schematic actually it turns out really great so I can uh, put a link to it in the video so here you can see the NAND gate so if signal latch is uh, not that means that it is positive this is works as an uh, inverter so signal latch not is positive then and the count and present is the same then and only then we want to change the present state so 
and here you can see the clock which is gated here at all so Point six. So, and now we're measuring relay three. So, we're actually measuring here. And when this transistor is off, or relay three anyway, then when the relay three is off, then this one goes up to five volt because there's not supposed to go any current there. So now it seems to be okay again. So. It's a breadboard nightmares because uh, now I moved this one just one step to the left, and that was all was needed. So it's a bad contact thing. And uh, look, also I have the negative probe on this board, <laughs> and I'm measuring a voltage on this board. And therefore, if this uh, negative voltage isn't uh, connected well, so you'll have problems like me. 4.933, so that's great. So yeah, but we don't see these problems in the real circuit because we're going to have uh, hard connections. So everything's fine, now it's relay 3 and uh, the voltage is low as it's supposed to be because that's the job of this transistor we have looked at. Hi. <laughs> This is the result, and uh, I'm not very happy with it. Um, yeah, kind of sucks. So what I did, uh, I think I read somewhere that you should uh, step up the holes. So start with the smallest one, go to clean cut, and then move to larger and larger, and then finally six and a half millimeters. And the cuts were just fine, and then I used a one millimeter or a ten millimeter. And I think this one is not very good for plastic because it has this, I don't know, it looks like it's going into concrete walls or something, so... At least I can push them in, so... Yeah, this uh, yellow one is actually shorter than all the others. It's kind of weird. Gives it that homemade look, that's my excuse anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so I pushed it a bit more in there than the others. So, this is what it will look like without the uh, markings, though. So <laughs> should get rid of that. I have a first icon to Canal M. Og switchen står på 4, så den skal switche seg selv ned til kanalen igjen. Den skrur opp lyden her nede, vil se. Og det funker. Så. So the board went to the in there fine. Saturday, by the way, I had to bend out this connector. Because it was pointing into the wall. So the yellow one is not working, so and if I measure the voltage over that diode LED, you can see 4.6 volts. So that one's shot already, and I think that's what you get when you're ordering from, from China, like uh, random LEDs. So I think we'll end the video there. It's been like 15 minutes or something, 14. That's not bad, but it's very tempting to now start and um, solder in this. So. But then they are stuck, so then I have to pick this one up and have it with this one all the time. So it's a bit early. So I want to make this board first. And I'm waiting for the board, so... Yeah, so um, thank you very much for watching. and. Uh, really happy about the comments I get so see you soon